Hello YouTube, uh, I'm back again. Uh, today we're going to be analyzing the gaming performance on the HTC One M8. I have got a few games installed uh, which I'll be playing and I'll uh, let you be the judge to see how it performs. Uh, of course I'll be judging it as well. Uh, the overall performance of the phone, uh, if it lags or stutters or uh, if there's any uh, drop in the frame rate whilst we're playing the game. So let's get back into games straight away. I have three games here with me. Uh, Subway Surfer, Robocop and Real Racing 3. Um, all of them are pretty heavy games, um, especially Real Racing 3 and Robocop. They just take a lot on the GPU. Um, let's test uh, the 330 Adreno GPU and see how it fares with gaming along with Snapdragon um, 801 chipset clocked at 2.3 with 2 gigs of RAM. Okay, first of all, let's start with Real Racing. I was playing this really earlier. That's why I was loaded very, very quickly. So, um, let's get into the game. I hope the sound is not too loud for you guys. I'm going to keep it just regular so that you can at least hear me whilst I'm talking. Okay, let's start. I recently bought the Nissan Sylvia. Let's get into this. Race. The phone is pretty powerful, so um, it should be able to handle a real racing tree pretty easily and um, with ease, you know. Okay. Let's do this quickly. The initial startup, as you can see, there's no lag. Smooth, the frame rate seems to be right. Let's start this. I like uh, driving um, whilst I'm in the cabin. I like this camera angle better than the other one. We're going to complete a full lap so that we can uh, put the phone through its paces. Just playing for a few seconds doesn't actually show the performance of the phone. It's when you actually start playing it for a while then the GPU and the CPU is actually tested to see how it fares. I'm no expert on this game, but uh, just for uh, you guys' sake, I'm playing this. I normally don't play Real Racing 3, but just to uh, be fair, this is the game that normally is uh, the benchmark testing for most phones. It's a heavy game, it takes a lot on the CPU and the GPU, so um, it should be a good test for the HTC One M8. As you can see here, so far, the game is alright. I can't see no drop in frame rate. There's no lag. Everything seems very smooth. Animations. Um, yeah, I can't see nothing uh, which will affect the performance of the phone so far. It shouldn't really because the discount see the specs. I don't expect the phone to lag anyway in the first place. 2 gig of RAM, quad core Snapdragon 801 chipset along with and Reno 330 GPU. It's very top of the range, the best specs right now possible um, money can buy. Squeeze, 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 there we go, there we go. Oh, I get off the track, no, 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 there you go. I'm not too bad actually, <laughs> I'm trying. Obviously, you're not, you're not analyzing my game performance here. How I play is how the phone plays, which is more important. There you go, guys. So I've come, finished one lap on the um, Real Racing 3. And as you can see, it was pretty smooth, pretty nice. And uh, no problems at all. Uh, no drop in frame rates. And a very smooth and enjoyable experience. Okay. Now, let's switch on to uh, Robocop. See how, how it feels. A fairly heavy game as well. I was playing this earlier. I had done this all already so that um, I wouldn't be spending too much time in loading the game. Okay, let's resume this quickly. Trouble cover is a pretty heavy game as well. It can take its toll. Oops. Okay, sniper detected. Let's do this. Change the position. There he is. Done. Dusted. This is where the game is going to get a bit more difficult. Let's go. So far, so good. Um. The special effects, you can see the leaves coming off, the bullets going on like all across. 
um, the way Robocop moves and everything so far is pretty smooth, it's not bad at all. The phone is heating up a little bit, I can feel it on my fingers, but it's not worryingly heat heated, it's, it's alright, it's manageable. All these phones heat, heat up pieces anyway, there's so much power inside that there's no way for the heat to escape. So sometimes um, you have to bear with this small little thing, even the Xperia Z2 which uh, my friend has, I was playing games on it the other day and that was heating up a bit, a bit up as well, so if it heats up a bit, it's normal not to worry about it at all. So let's get out now and um, let's play a bit of Subway Surfer. There we go. That's a bit lighter than Robocop and um, um, Real Racing 3. But still, it's a good performance uh, test for uh, the GPU and, and the CPU and how, how it fares. Okay, let's do this. Very smooth so far. Um, like I said, so far it hasn't been no issues before. I mean, there's no issue right now as well. Uh, no drop in frame rates. Um, animation seems to be very smooth, and phone seems to be alright. It's a good gaming machine, uh, but um, there's one thing which I don't like. That is um, the battery life. When you play games for a long period of time, the battery drains really, really quick. When you're playing heavy games, it drops at the rate of about um, two percent in one minute um, so that's been with any phone though it's not only the HTC one I made but I'm hoping that day comes when uh, you know people won't have to worry about battery life that much uh, especially playing games I mean an average phone will last you around only a couple of hours if you were to do some heavy gaming on it end of the day we have to understand that these phones are not meant for proper long hour gaming this is only for casual gaming a mobile phone is a mobile phone at the end of the day you're not going to be playing games on it all the time, otherwise you'll be charging up every couple of hours. Um, if you're a serious gamer, then I would suggest obviously getting the PlayStation 3 or the Xbox for that purpose. But mobile gaming is uh, only for casual purposes. Just to kill time if you're on the train or the tube and you're trying to uh, kill time. So, service server seems to be running fine as well. No issues so far. Oops. Okay. So let's get this out of, out of this game. So guys, there you have it. Um, I can tell you that uh, the phone has heated up just a little bit. I wish there was a way I could actually make you feel, but it's not heated up to a point where it's very really hot, which is where it's too hot for you to start really worrying about it. Don't worry about it. It's just a bit of heat, not much heat, manageable heat. So here you have it. Um, the performance of um, the gaming performance of the HTC One M8. Uh, any questions, please. Um, uh, do ask me in the comment section and do subscribe and let me know if any more videos you would like to see. Thank you.